Now, your, uh, your family is from India, and you've actually you filmed there uh, a couple of years ago. What's the biggest difference between filming in India and filming oh, here man. in the United States? We've filmed there a few times. We did for This Giant Beast as well. Um, I will give you an example of the biggest difference. A couple of years ago, I was working on a film there, and uh, I wasn't getting paid during the course of the film. Usually every two weeks, they deposit some money in your agent's account. Mm. And I said, guys, I, you know, it's $11,000 for my salary. I need my salary. And they said, no, 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 it's coming, it's coming. It's two days before the end of production. I started asking the, the Bollywood actors, what do you do if these guys don't pay you? And they go, just don't turn up to work one day. I was like, well, I am a member of the Screen Actors Guild, and I cannot just not turn up to work one day. Yeah. I said, well, then you're not going to get paid. So I decided not to show up to work one day. I told the producer in advance, and uh, that morning, he phone call in my hotel room, sir, your car is downstairs. I said, well, I'm not coming to work today. You're right. <laughs> and 10 minutes later, the, like, head of the production company, who was also a construction magnet, a.k.a. Right. a gangster, sure. called me in my room, <laughs> Mr. Cal Penn. I'm like, hi, how are you, sir? I understand we have a problem. I was like, I, there's no problem. I just haven't been paid. I got to pay people commissions. So I need my money and then I'll come to work. He goes, okay, my boy will come in an hour's time. Stay in your room. So an hour later, there's a knock at the door. This is the only thing Indians have ever been on time for. Yeah. Literally an hour later. <laughs> I put myself in that category before anybody gets offended. And I look through the people and I see the top of some kid's head. And I was like, he literally sent a child <laughs> for some purpose. I open the door, it's a 55 year old man. He's wearing a T-shirt <laughs> with a panda on it that says, I love giraffe. <laughs> and he's holding a brown paper bag, and he hands it to me, and I look inside, and it's U.S. currency bundled up, and he goes, count it. I said, all right, do you want to come inside? No. I counted it. It was $11,000. I put it in the safe. I went to the airport after I was done shooting, landed at LAX. The 23-year-old customs guy, because you have to declare anything over 10 grand. Sure. Customs guy was 23 years old. Ah, Kumar, man, what you got, man? <laughs> oh, you bringing weed into the country? I'm like, no, I, 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 I'm bringing money. I was working on a film, and then he got very professional, and I told him the whole story I just told you, and he looks at me and he goes, Cal Penn only makes $11,000 for a movie. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hey, man, it was an independent film. <laughs> So you just have to declare it and you're fine, apparently. But that's what it's like doing business in South Africa. That is the big difference. <laughs> Reggie, do you have a question for any of our guests this evening? Uh, no, I do. Uh, tonight's <laughs> question goes to... Uh, most, of, most of our guests... Uh, <laughs> most of ours, yes. So, um, if you've ever been in a, a river rafting situation, which I assume maybe some of you have, uh, have you ever noticed that the buoyancy... Uh, of the raft changes at different times during the journey, or do you do you find that that's not interesting enough? Uh, I I do notice it, and there I haven't gone a lot, but I I would hold both the helmet to make sure the strap was there and the side. I, that's where I get risk averse. Otherwise, if it's smooth, I'm like yeah, and then you know I have to hold on when it gets rough. Could you repeat the question? <laughs> uh, that's actually that's actually the correct uh, response. Thank Is you. The